Welcome back. I'm Chantal Desjardins alongside Scott Morrison and Billy Jaffe. Now, Victor Hedman with a four. Hey, uh, I mean, hey listen, we're so happy to have you here. And congratulations on the new gig. Uh, Thank you're you. We're seeing a lot of this one and all the Habs games. Um, now, you also do stand-up comedy. Yes, um, yes, I do. How did you first get into that? And does, does that help you with your broadcasting abilities, your totally confidence? It totally does. I, guess? I was bullied into it. There's a local comedian, Joey Elias, and I was working I in radio. Joey, yeah. Joey's a good friend of ours. So, like, he comes into the studio one day and he's like, You're funny. We should get you on stage. And I was like, I don't think so. Like, that's not really my thing. He and was, Joey is this big guy, right? So, like, he probably did bully you. He did bully me. Yeah. Like, he said, I teach this class. You're coming tonight. I'll never bug you again if you don't like it. So, I show up, I get on stage, I'm super nervous. And I loved it. Amazing. Like it was just like it was like so addicting and such a rush. Even though there was only like you know 20 people in the room. Yeah. And then we did this friends and family night, and there were 200 people. It was the most nervous I'd ever been, and I rocked it. And it was so such a rush. And that you're I was... really good. I gotta say, if you want to check <laughs> out her stand up, go to uh, chantaldesjardin.com, and uh, you can. Uh, but make sure to earmuff the kids, uh, maybe before. Yeah, uh, like yeah. I, I, I'm but, available for kids' birthday parties. Yeah. So. <laughs> You were telling me uh, you were in Toronto recently and uh, you were sitting next to uh, Don Cherry and Ron McLean <laughs> and, and you got Strombo and uh, I would love to hear what the conversation was at that table. Uh, was, was it cool to meet it those guys? Just, it was so funny, like even to get in, I couldn't get in because security didn't know we were coming and all of a sudden I hear this booming voice beside me and he couldn't get in either and he looks over and he's like, hi, I'm Bob Cole and I was like, yes you are, <laughs> like how amazing is this? You wouldn't even need to, to see him, you no, just hear his voice yeah. and you're like, that's Bob Cole. And we're sitting up in the, in the seminar and all of a sudden Don Cherry didn't agree with something that somebody was was talking about that's the rule surprising. changes. That's surprising. Yeah, so Don Cherry in front of 300 people says like, hey, I got a question. And he gets up and he starts moving as if he's, but I don't understand how would this rule, and Ron McLean, who's now over across the room, is like, Don, no, you don't know what you're saying. And he runs over and the two of them just start as if it's their show in front of 300 people. The seminar wow. I was like, to be in this experience is just so fun. That's so cool. And, cool. And, uh, you know, um, I guess it's, it's some in some senses the broadcast world in hockey is Kind of male dominated. Yes. Are, are you are you are you confident? Are you, do you does you do you let that bother you at all? I'm the only one in a dress yeah. around. Yeah, because yeah. it would be awkward if say like you wore this. That's only on Tuesdays. No, I like it. Like I grew up with guys. Like I was sort of a tomboy growing up. I was a really fat kid. Like okay. really fat. Like okay. when I was little, I told my mom I wanted to be a model, and she's like, "Honey, stay in school." <laughs> So then, you know, you just I can't of, even picture that. No, though. it was not good. I had yeah. no chin. It was just like Braces. head. Braces. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking more like little, like two. Like okay. I just sort of rolled around until I started walking. And so... <laughs> An obese baby. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was on Weight Watchers at yeah. like six months. But um, yeah, then I... So I always grew up with the boys and I played the sports and I could like tackle them or whatever. And like even now I have a hockey stick in my car just in case like a game breaks out. At any, at any, at any time. time, which would be weird anyways, because I'm in a dress, so that would yeah. be awkward hockey attire. But uh, yeah. You know what? I think you'd make it look good. You Thank you. Would. Yeah. Uh, do you have any inspirations, uh, that anyone that you kind of look up to in the broadcasting world, something that you emulate at all? Ron McLean was probably one of my favorites because he knew the game so well, but he was such a good storyteller. And yeah. that's what I like to do. I like to tell the stories of the players, of the game in general, like not just what's on the ice, but what's behind it. And he was just a master of that. And there's also a girl in the States, Michelle Beadle, who works for ESPN. And she's very, she's amazing at that too. Are you worried about not having much of a life for the next eight months? Is that bother you at all? Or are you like a workaholic, like you're ADD and you want to just get in there and work like crazy? Well, this is my day off today. It is her so, day off. We made her came in. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know. Actually, I'm pretty excited. Like yeah. when it's something that you love to do, and it's covering the Canadians. I mean, does it get much better than that? So yeah. I'm not too worried about it. Like I would be watching the games anyways. Now I'm getting paid to watch the games. Like that's that's, that's pretty it. cool. Is that your favorite part about the, the 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 job? Like what's what's your favorite part about being on air, or being a broadcaster, or following uh, the the Canadians? I always need a challenge yeah. to to sort of stay focused, to stay excited, and this is the biggest challenge I've had. So for me. That's the cool part. And getting to talk to the guys and getting to know the guys, sort of, you know, make them a little more human is sort of fun too. Like they're not just these gods that are making millions of dollars. There are guys that, you know, they eat pasta before the game and they, they sit at home and they collect stamps. Or I don't know if anyone like, collects stamps. <laughs> they probably don't. That's sort of nerdy, but you know, I think that's cool. Maybe, maybe that, maybe. That, maybe that, that, maybe I'm gonna do an expose somebody. on, uh, you know, the stamp collecting <laughs> habits stamp of Max collectors. Pacioretty or something. I'm sure there's some out there. I'm sure there's some out there. Um, <laughs> hey, Chantal, thanks so much uh, for being here and, uh, and welcome to the team we're going to be uh, seeing a lot of you and uh, you're doing some uh, stuff for us with connected as well so we're looking forward to that uh, and uh, hey uh, maybe we can uh, finish this by singing our favorite song getting, getting to, to know, know you, you getting, getting to know, know all about, about you. you we probably shouldn't we put should our never day job. Do no, that, that again that was good. really bad all right yeah <laughs>